Bergamot is a breakthrough natural product for cardiovascular health, blood glucose control, and weight management. Citrus bergamia riso is very sensitive to the pedoclimatic conditions of the soil, and it grows almost exclusively in the narrow coastal area in Reggio Calabria, in the most southern part of the Italian peninsula. Bergamot juice was traditionally recognized by the local population as a remedy for supporting healthy cholesterol levels and cardiovascular health. The medicinal use of bergamot, forgotten for decades, is now being rediscovered. Bergamonte's health benefits are compelling. It's used for cardiovascular health. It reduces total cholesterol, LDL, triglycerides. It increases HDL, the good cholesterol. It reduces fasting blood glucose and inflammatory markers. It improves vasodilation, thus reducing the coronary artery disease risk. It's useful for weight management and is a powerful antioxidant with total ORAC value of over 22,000 micromoles per gram. The juice and albedo of bergamot has a unique profile of flavonoid and glycosides, such as neoreocitrin, neohesperidin, naringin, rutin, neodesmin, roifolin, and ponsirin. Naringin has been shown to be beneficial in animal models of atherosclerosis, while neorecitrin and rutin have been found to exhibit a strong capacity to prevent LDL from oxidation. Importantly, bergamot juice is rich in brutiridin and melitidin with an ability to inhibit HMG-CoA reductase. Citrus bergamot differs from citrus aurantium. Citrus bergamot does not contain synephrine, and methyltyramine and octopamine, which have been shown in research to constrict arteries, increase blood pressure, increase heart rate, cause heart rhythm disorders, heart attack, and stroke. Researchers in Italy have found that citrus bergamot contains novel statin-like compounds, melitidin and bruteridin, which have been suggested to act as direct HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors. The HMG acid is bound to neohesperidin and naringin to form new novel compounds, brutalidin and melitidin. Melitidin and brutalidin bind efficiently to the catalytic site of HMG-CoA reductase and reduces HMG-CoA to mevalonate, which is a key intermediate in cholesterol metabolism. Bergamonte works by activating the AMP kinase. AMP kinase regulates glucose and lipid metabolism, regulates energy production in various organs, prevents accumulation of fat by modulating downstream signaling of acetyl-CoA carboxylase, ACC, and HMG-CoA reductase. It also activates glucose transporter GLUT1 in all cells and GLUT4 in muscle cells. Another major mechanism of action is that Bergamonte activates cholesterol 7R hydroxylase. By activating cholesterol 7R hydroxylase, cholesterol in the liver is converted to neural, sterol and bile acids, a major pathway for cholesterol elimination. This in turn decreases hepatic cholesterol, leading to higher fecal neural sterols and bile acids excretion. This leaves less fat and cholesterol to be absorbed by the body. It increases cholesterol utilization in the liver, lowering the export of cholesterol to other tissues, therefore less LDL, and resulting in lower triglycerides in the blood. In 2007, the Journal of Agricultural Food Chemistry published a groundbreaking article on the hypolipidemic effects of citrus bigamia riso juice in rats that are fed a hypercholesterolemic diet. HDL carries cholesterol from cells to the liver for catabolism and inhibits atherosclerosis plaque formation. Bergamot juice is able to significantly increase HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol, thereby reducing the atherogenic index, cardiovascular disease risk. The high antioxidant values in bergamonte help scavenge free radicals, activate cellular antioxidants, inhibit LDL oxidation, and enhance fecal neural sterols and bile acid output. In a research published in Phytotherapia, November 2011, we evaluate the hypolipemic and hypoglycemic activity of bergamonte. 237 patients suffering from hyperlipemia 
either associated or not with hyperglycemia were recruited. They were given either 500 milligrams, 1000 milligrams of Bergamonte or placebo for 30 days. 82 patients with isolated hypercholesterolemia, LDL greater than 130. 76 patients with mixed dyslipidemia, which is hypercholesterolemia and hypertriglyceridemia. 48 patients with mixed hyperlipemia and glycemia. And 32 patients previously on statins waited for 60 days washout period before given 1500 milligrams of bergamotte. There was a very significant reduction in total cholesterol levels LDL and triglyceride levels were observed, accompanied by a significant elevation of HDL cholesterol and by a significant decrease in blood glucose. Moreover, bergamot polyphenols inhibited HMG-CoA reductase activity and enhanced reactive vasodilation, thus representing an efficient phytotherapeutic effect in combating hyperlipemic and hyperglycemic disorders. In the International Journal of Cardiology 2013, we showed that bergamotte enhances rosuvastatin-induced effects on LDL cholesterol, LOX1 expression, and protein kinase B phosphorylation in patients with hyperlipidemia. Statins are the most commonly prescribed drugs to reduce cardiometabolic risk. Beside the well-known efficacy of such compounds in both preventing and treating cardiometabolic disorders, some patients experience statin-induced side effects. We hypothesize that the use of natural bergamot-derived polyphenols may allow patients undergoing statin treatments to reduce effective doses while achieving target lipid values. The aim of the present study is to investigate the occurrence of an enhanced effect of bergamot-derived polyphenolic fraction, BPF, on rosuvastatin-induced hyperlipidemic and vasoprotective response in patients with mixed hyperlipidemia. A prospective open-label parallel group placebo-controlled study on 77 patients with elevated serum LDL cholesterol and triglycerides was designed. 15 patients were randomly assigned to a placebo group. 16 patients received 10 mg of rosuvastatin, another 16 patients received 20 mg of rosuvastatin, 15 patients received 1,000 mg of BPF, and 15 patients received 100 mg of BPF plus 10 mg of rosuvastatin. Both doses of rosuvastatin and BPF reduce total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, the LDL cholesterol HDL cholesterol ratio, and urinary mevalonate in hyperlipidemic patients compared to the placebo group. The cholesterol lowering effect was accompanied by reductions of malondialdehyde, oxy LDL receptor LOX1, and phosphor PKB which are all biomarkers of oxidative vascular damage in peripheral polymorphonuclear cells. The occurrence of metabolic syndrome represents an independent risk factor for developing cardiovascular disease states in patients suffering from type 2 diabetes. Moreover, both the size of LDL particles and liver dysfunction, identified as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, represent important biomarkers in the development of cardiometabolic risk in patients with metabolic syndrome. In a research paper published in the Advances in Biological Chemistry 2014, we studied the effect of bergamot polyphenolic fraction, BPF, in patients with metabolic syndrome and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. 107 patients were enrolled at the San Rafael IRCCS Rome. All of them showed ultrasonographic evidences of NAFLD and at least three out of five previous identified criteria for the diagnosis of MS. Patients were divided into two groups, one receiving placebo and the second receiving BPF 650 milligrams twice a day for 120 consecutive days. In the group receiving BPF 650 milligrams twice a day, a significant reduction of fasting plasma glucose, serum LDL cholesterol and triglycerides alongside with an increase of HDL cholesterol was found. This effect was accompanied by significant reduction of both ultrasonographic and metabolic biomarkers of NAFLD. 
Moreover, a significant reduction of small, dense LDL particles, as detected via proton NMR spectroscopy, was found. The effect of bergamot polyphenolic fraction on LDL small, dense particles and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease in patients with metabolic syndrome.